Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. It's time for me to get ready for work, so I figured I would crank out a quick sample shave. I'm going to do a legacy soap today. A legacy soap is anything that's been around for a very long time and it's not artisan made. So, Mitchell's Wool Fat, Tabac, Chella, Taylor of Old Bond Street, Leah, and this, Chella, from Italy. And this soap is a tallow-based soap. I will go ahead and put the ingredients across the bottom of the screen for you. But this is a cherry almond marzipan sort of scent. A lot of people describe it as smelling like Christmas cookies, which, uh, yeah, I'd say that's a fair description of it. So we're going to go ahead and do a shave with this today. Why not? The aftershave is going to be the Mirasol Metal Sol. And this is a alcohol aftershave with alum in it. It's one of the rare examples of an aftershave that still has alum in it. So if you want an old school kind of aftershave, get you the Mirasol Metal Sol. This is the standby aftershave for all sample videos and it's good stuff. All right, I'm gonna continue using the Schick Type M adjustable injector razor. This is on loan to me by Dave in Kentucky. Thank you very much for that, Dave. And this has got to be, I think, the third use for this particular injector blade. I am using the good old-fashioned Schick injector blade straight out of the injector key. Good stuff. And the brush. I'm going to keep on using the QED Select 4324. 24mm Manchurian silver tip because it seems to be the best brush for my particular lathering habits. Okay, let's do a shave. Okay, here we go. Two weeks out from Christmas is a good enough excuse to use the Christmas cookie smelling cella. I have a full size tub in my collection back in the States, and November and December, and maybe a little bit into January, is when I use cella the most. Because I've, I've said this before, I'm a very seasonal shaver when it comes to scents. So 
So during the summertime, I shave with brighter scents. And during the winter time, I shave with uh, darker and or sweeter scents. Okay, so in the Langley City Shave Bowl, the scent strength on Chella is a four out of five. I mean, I've always thought that I've went through three tubs of Chella, and it's always been three out of five at least, usually four out of five. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, now we have the Schick Type M on setting five with three days of growth. And I think five is probably where I'm gonna leave it. I seem to recall in the last shave, it was a little, shave was a little higher than that. So let's see how a little more mild shaving experience goes. Here we go, three days of growth. Very good. Yeah, two weeks out from Christmas. Hope everybody's getting their uh, Christmas preparations taken care of. If you haven't done so already. I never have been a huge fan of the ever-growing commercialization. of Christmas, but it's hard to argue with all the elaborate Christmas light displays and the beautiful decorated trees, the Coca-Cola polar bear commercials. watching those when I was a kid. Okay, time for pass number two. Christmas movies? Because I don't care what you say, Lethal Weapon is a Christmas movie. Do you really want to jump? Do you want to? Well then, that's fine with me. Come on, let's do it, asshole. Let's do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. What do you mean? Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. Do I have a favorite Christmas movie? I don't know. I guess I've never put that much thought into it. This is one of the rare videos where I didn't uh, take any notes. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip as far as a conversation. Probably National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Just because it's outrageous. <laughs> But I'm also the kind of guy that thinks that planes, trains, and automobiles with uh, Steve Martin and John Candy is probably the funniest film I've ever seen. What?
I've got an extra light touch this time uh, with the Schick Injector Razor Type M. Because the last shave on video wasn't perfect. And I think it was because I was applying a little too much pressure. The approach angle on this is actually less steep than I thought it would be. I figured you'd have to hold it like way out like this, but no, it's a little more uh, of a 45 degree angle. Doing a little bit of touching up. And then I think we'll be done. I'm hesitant to hang out in this area where my hair is the toughest, so I think I'm just gonna quit while things are going positively. Let's do a rinse. Take this towel off the towel rack. Oh. My nose is still uh, my nose is still really sensitive to the touch from that uh, septoplasty I had, but it's getting better. Okay, well, instead of cutting to a new scene, let's just do the aftershave right off the cuff. Right here we have the Mirasol Metal Saw. Shake it up. And this does have a rev limiter on it, so you don't have to worry about peeling out. Oh, that feels good. The scent on it smells nothing like Chella. It's a uh, herbaceous, kind of old school type of scent. So if you want uh, to have your Chella scent linger, I would definitely recommend that you uh, get the matching aftershave. Speaking of cello, I think I put the uh, sample back in the box. But I've used it before on camera, so I think it's uh, plainly obvious at this point that I would absolutely buy this again. It is a staple of the soap thing shaved in, and I cannot imagine a world where I wouldn't have it. It's that simple. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.